Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Mandate of Heaven DLC for Total War Three Kingdoms. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> we uh, have marauded around the countryside chasing looters to small amounts of success. Um, Liu Bei is... Uh, his army's a little bit weak, um, but... We have collected an impressive, truly impressive number of uh, followers that include Lu Zhe, because we watched him get destroyed, and of course Zhao Yun. We also have a lot of money, so I'm going to throw money at them to keep them happy every time they complain for now. But, uh, reforms wise, I think I'm going to get the trade agreement one, even though I don't have any land. Uh, because I should have land eventually, at least I hope to. Um, but yeah, next turn, let's see what happens. I think I have been slow moving around. Either that or the yellow turbans have been extraordinarily quick at taking out the factions up north. Because... Um, I am now very much behind enemy lines. And my army is weak as, because they're all militia, and militia have the most portal oh, hand foods destroyed. Um I declare Wong Kong wrong. And Cao Song. Cao Song's father has died and been replaced by Lady Ding, his mother. Ooh, a jade bird. Over tea, you tell your general of the dream of a jade bird. The general takes a long sip of their tea, places the cup down and looks you in the eye. A vision of a jade bird is an auspicious prophecy. The jade indicating imperial matters and the bird a being that can traverse the gap between earth and heaven. Relationship deepens between Zhang Fei and Liu Bei. Fantastic. Well, wonderful as that is, we have a mission. We're here for one thing and one thing only. There we go. But the rebels lie and wait for Liu Bei. Almost as soon as your forces arrive in the area, you are warned by the locals of a bandit force seeking to waylay you. Now you know their position. Your advisors suggest striking before they can ready themselves in opposition. Cavalry. Another small faction of nobodies. Uh, irritating. Very irritating. Very, very irritating. They're just going to run away. I know they're just going to run away, just like the last lot did. Oh, worse than that, they've shown up. Yeah. This start is... I believe I've made it tougher than it needs to be by those first few turns moving relatively slowly, uh, chasing looters. Yeah, I expected you to run. You're going to go into the water. Or at least that's what I'd do if I was you. Liu Zhang has succeeded Liu Lian. And He Yi has joined, yeah, against the looters, against Kong Rong. Nobody interesting, well, Chen Gong, but I, I won't partake of him right now. Right. Next turn. I'm sort of hoping that the Emperor continues his assault on the Yellow Turbans. In my Tao Tao Let's Play, he didn't really do much. Uh, then he died. And then uh, Empress Her did quite a lot that's really affecting my playthrough in that one. Um, a friend in need. A general regales a recent battle. In particular, he mentions a mutual friend of yours who, seeing another in a dire situation, leaps to his defense. His blade, it is said, appears to be moved by heaven itself, finding its mark, felling the foe and saving the friend. His courage is commendable. Here we go, Liu Bei, Zhang Fei, Guan Yu, all becoming better buddies than they were previously. How fantastic is that? Come on, stop running, looter. 
Oh, oh! There was a big fight there, and it looks like the Empire lost. Oh, yeah! There goes one of their armies. Oh, the yellow turbans are definitely on the counterattack. That looks like Xun Yo as well. Um, there, I need to double check it. But if that is Xun Yo, they're at risk of losing really quite a talented man. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Oh, come on! These sodding looters. They are so frustrating. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong chasing them or or what, but they're always just out of bloody reach. And I end up spending years hunting Frankly, such a small bunch of outlaws that, you know, a decent sized group of peasants would do it. A friend in need, you hear a tale of boundless courage in your ranks. One of your generals rides bravely to the aid of his friend, who is moments away from death's cold touch, weathering many blows to defend their comrade. In the aftermath, you take stock of what you have heard and seen. Zhang Fei is wounded, saving Guan Yu. Die. Die. Replenishment. They are finished. Han Fu calls for aid because Han Fu has been destroyed, so he really is. He's asking a lot right here. A letter arrives from Han Fu, a local lord. It seems that he has been having trouble with rebels in his territory. He asks that you come to his aid, and in return, he will recommend you to the Imperial Court for promotion. Bohai. I mean, mate, you better recommend me for going there. Smalang, no, I don't need you. Trace gain, scarred, yep. Wounds and deaths, he's injured. Uh, I'm not overly pleased with being exactly where I am, but I don't think I can move out of space right now. Uh, I think I'm going to get... I think I'm going to get this. And I'm going to give you some money to make you happy. And Zhao Yun, why don't you love me as well? There we go. Um, right. To Bohai. And if you're wondering why I'm not taking a town or a settlement, it's because right at the beginning of the game, there's this pop-up where they tell you you will be rewarded for not taking territory. So I'm trying not to, specifically for that reason. I know it would be a damn side easier if I took some territory and consolidated a little bit because my army is, is battered. But, yeah, I, uh, I'm trying to fulfill one of the uh, uh, mission statements that they first uh, showed to me at the beginning. Hans Fei declared war on the looters, all against Yuan Shao, everyone's against Yuan Shao. And Zhang Fei is back. Who are you? Hua Xiong. I mean, you're, you're a talent. Right. We will move up slowly in that direction. 
because I'm worried just how far behind enemy lines I am. Yeah, it looks like the Emperor's got his act together a little bit. But it would be nice if he sent, um, what's that, Hu Jin out, because I know that army is extraordinarily powerful. And if he could rock out up there, that would make a massive difference. The Liu Chong is definitely taking territory as well. Trace gained, creative. How spectacular. And then we'll hide. <laughs> we shall hide. Uninjured room, battle, resilience. Okay. Yeah, forgot about that. Right, I'll be in ambush mode because um, I am worried about a larger army or frankly just a more professional army than my own showing up even if it's a similar size uh, militia do not have the greatest morale at all it's been nerfed quite hard since um, the full game was released and yeah as it rightly should as well I'm not complaining it really should have been because people like the G militia they could they could win you wars um, whilst now they're a little bit more cannon foddery. Harvest Moon Festival. It is the time of the Harvest Moon and the farmers of the local village are celebrating the fine harvest. They sit around the fire recounting the tale of Ho Yi and Chang'e, in which they were separated after she drank the elixir of immortality and took up residence of the moon itself. With a rabbit as well, I believe, um, on the moon, if I remember it correctly. I might be might be getting it very wrong but I'm pretty certain it was with a rabbit who are you Beigong Boyu has survived quite a long time this time. In my Tao Tao Let's Play, he was destroyed almost instantaneously. <laughs> the game recommends you decrease campaign difficulty. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I can... Ooh. Lu Bu, a warrior of rapidly growing reputation, has decided that his current master is not worthy of his service. Tempted by offers of wealth and glory, he gifts their head and lands to Dong Zhuo. Dong Zhuo confederates Ding Yuan. Character killed Ding Yuan. Character adopted Lu Bu. And Dong Zhuo and Lu Bu are best buddies. There we go. Lu Bu has done the dirty on his daddy. Well, adopted daddy. Haha, ha, Hanfu calls for aid. We are here. Lu Bei strikes a powerful blow. It seems the rebels in Hanfu's territory are of a different nature to those you have met before. They wear the yellow scarves around their heads and claim fervently that the end of the Han is nigh. Such sedition cannot be allowed to go unpunished. Trust me, I have met them before. I won. My army suffered. Um, I shall... Rock over here, near Yuan Shao, I believe, in the hopes that we can support each other. Uh, should everything go badly. Also, Yuan Shao, um, I suggest we have an agreement. Do you have anything? Ooh, you do. Can I take a pig? Uh, make this work. 
Uh, I want the pig. I want the pig because I have generals who will become unhappy. Uh, and um, especially Zhao Yun, if I just hand him a pig, he'll be quite contented for a few turns, sitting there admiring the stone carving. Um, anyone want to unify? No. Uh, military access, yes. Yuan Shao. Let's just sign this. That'll do. That'll do nicely. We have a pig. So, Zhao Yun, guess what, mate? I have a pig for you. Aren't you happy with me? Right, there we go. He has a pig. He's happy. And I have a yellow turban army to kill for a Hanfu who is possibly already dead. I don't know whether or not Lu Bei was a clairvoyant. Uh, what on earth just happened there? Did she kill him off for me? Will that null and void the mission if it does? I will be furious if because a yellow turban killed off a yellow turban I lose whatever Han Fu was going to gift me from the grave. Mission aborted. Oh, that's horrible. That's absolutely horrible. Do you know what? All right, sod this for a barrel of fish. We're going for Ping Yuan. Yuan Shao can have Bo Hai. That's really annoyed me. Income from all sources. Empire building it is. Right, sod you all, sod you missions. You want Huang Fu Song's bow? Didn't realize I had Huang Fu Song's bow. I should have paid more attention when I was clicking stuff. Um, no. No. Huang Fu Song can do without his bow. I'm keeping his bow because it came with Lu Ju. I cannot believe the yellow turbans killed off a yellow turban army that was my mission to kill. And I can't understand how the dead Han Fu managed to tell everyone that it wasn't me that killed them. Liu Yu is destroyed. There's no surprise there. But. Right. A crushing defeat. It's all right. I can take it. Ping Yuan will be mine. They're seriously attacking me. Well. I'm up for a fight. I'm irritated. Some yellow turbans killed some yellow turbans that meant I didn't get a prize. I agree with the Bay Monster. Apparently, the other two have nothing else to add to it right now. Jiang Fei may be too drunk. Guan Yu, too engrossed in beard uh, grooming. Come on then. Uh, ha. Okay, so we're going to move back here and I'm going to try and ignite the forest. Yeah. Uh, and two, three, four, five. There you go. And you stand there, look like you know what you're doing. Spearman in front. Um, I'm going to put that across. 
across there to give them some charge protection. Uh, you, because you are magnificently under strength, can sort of sit there. You guys can protect this flank. Cav can enjoy that flank. Liu Bei, Zhang Fei, Guan Yu can stand there and um, come at me. Come at me and die. Right, I hope this works and we manage to set light to the entire forest. If it doesn't, well, it's only worked once, so <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Shuha, Scholar, level two. Betty doesn't want to... We might want a duel. We'll see. If he wants a duel, I'll, I'll fight him. We have a tree. A tree is on fire. Maybe a couple of them. That is good news. Uh, cavalry, move quietly over into the forest. Come on. More fiery trees. Liu Bei wants fiery trees. Out of range. You'll be in range soon. Um, Zhang Fei would prefer to fight you. If there's an option going. Because Zhang Fei has health. Yeah, no. Zhang Fei wants to do this. Take him out. Bay monster. Nice. Come on, just kill him. And then you can just stand where you are, butchering their men. Actually, no, just hang there for a second. Do your spinny whirly, Dongshi. Go on, just get stuck in a little bit. Just get stuck in a little bit. Yeah, no surprise that Zhang Fei won. You got your boost. Start killing. Here we go, cavalry in. Bang, let's just kill off their archers. Come on, stay in there, stay in there. Go, go and stand there. Right, it's time for you guys to move up this side. Uh, Bazilla, it's time. Right. Go. You catch them. Yeah. Fey monster. Show them how it's done. More death. Now I need to slaughter as many as I possibly can. Right, you can move there onto the flank. But yeah, I need to slaughter as many as I possibly can because they will return when I besiege. Yeah, you kill those. How you doing? Kill more, yeah. Uh, more urgency. More urgency on the death dealing, please. How are we doing? How are we doing? Do your special... Yeah. Oh, your horse is dead. That's not great. Sorry. Didn't mean that. Didn't mean for that to happen. Uh, you can rush in there. You can stand there. 
You can stand there. Right, rock up over here. Basil, you killed him. Brilliant. 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 Right, hunt them down, please. Kill them all. How are we doing? How are we doing? We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah. Come on, Bazilla, you too. Actually, fall on out of there. You can charge. Right. They got a full on scare. You can come in here. Form up here. Right, you chaps. Through the fire you go. Guan Yu, how are we doing? They all dead? They're all dead. Spectacular work, big man. Spectacular work. Uh, oh, you can get stuck in there. You guys. Come round that way. Kill them already. Right, you kill them. Uh, yeah, do your slashy slash. Actually, you take them. You charge there. Go. 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 And yeah, go. Little bit disappointing, Jung Fei. Little bit disappointing, not gonna lie. I know you've had a tough time. I know your horse is dead. That's no reason to run away. Uh, you guys come up here. What are these? Unbreak. Oh, piss. They're unbreakable. Uh, you're not, though. Ha! Shoot the snot out of them. Alright, they're unbreakable, so off you go. You're not needed there. Really, you're not needed there. You can chase them. You, however, are needed here. Because I don't care how running away you're feeling. You can oh, bring us of peace. What are they? Jewel axes. They bring lots of peace. Right, Basilla. Off you go. You've done your peace. Go on, Basilla. Oi. Stop wavering. Get stuck in. There we go. Don't you feel better now? Fighting alongside your oath brother, butchering people who are trying to bring peace to the world. You know, it's cathartic. Done. Right. Yeah, I know it's victory. I know all of that, but no. Chase them, hunt them, kill them. As many as we can. Go on, Basila. Oh, that one horseman was really keen. Ah, 13, 12, learn. Nine. Kill them all. Where have you been, son? Where have you been? You're a disappointment to the regiment. Oh, you think you're going to get away, do you? I see you. Even if my soldiers don't. There they go, there they go. Bang! Done. Yeah. You come out, you charge me. Good luck. Good luck. Absolutely slaughter them. There we go, that was a good release of frustration for all of that cocking about with looters I had to do at the beginning.
Uh, I could do the replenishment. I need the soldiers. Yes. I don't have enough soldiers. Quash arm is still about, I see. Nice of him. We will occupy it. Oh, and the Emperor has died as we occupy it. The Emperor Liu Hong is dead. It appears he has perished of natural causes, but his death has caused chaos across the land. And Empress He, my favourite treacherous Empress, is now in charge. Well, Zhang Fei has levelled up. Some people who I don't need have appeared. But we have a city! Endurance. Yeah. We actually have a city. What great news. Um, yeah, that's the one. And I have lots of money. Uh, that requires a reform, unfortunately. However, this is great news. We have some territory. After all of that mucking about, we finally have some territory. Wow. Just wow. Wasn't expecting that. Destroyers of treachery, defenders of the empire. Well, they're the ones that are costing money because the rest of your guys are shit. Wow. Well, um... Guess who's also come to play. Let's get another army up and running because we are in the middle of a war zone and I'm going to need the extra troops. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, I think I will leave it there. Our traipsing about northeastern China, following the whims of dead men like Han Fu um, and destroyed factions like Lu Zhe has finished. Lu Bei has established himself in Ping Yuan. Zhao Yun has raised an army. When I have won the lottery, I shall bring Lu Zhe out as well. But uh, yeah. We're going to go take Ping Yuan Salt Mine next and complete this commandery. And uh, then we shall see which side wishes to die first. Possibly go up to Bohai. Though Taishan is quite tempting. Yup. Fight time. That's it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, if you haven't, please feel free to leave a dislike. Comments. Um, advice, feedback, anything to make me better is always welcome. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.